I've just started a war with the most powerful group on this SMP, led by a player named Murphy. And after they killed my closest friend, I'm going to create Minecraft's most advanced military from the ground up to take them out for good. This wasn't gonna be easy though, because on this particular server, a deadly asteroid is going to hit Earth in approximately 15 days. Meaning it's full of anarchy, and if you die, there is no respawning. Knowing this, I needed to do a recon mission to prepare for what we were going up against. So I traveled from my bunker in Russia to their base in Africa, snuck into a tree nearby and surprise surprise Murphy was out there hustling okay we got a perfect spot and we can look through the foliage this is what is that the legion join us or die later led by Murphy. communist approved he was hanging up communist propaganda for people to join the legion like come on there's no way anybody was buying this who's that okay that guy I haven't even seen before oh my gosh that's another guy there who is that? Who is that? People were literally appearing out of thin air to join this man's army. Well, two could play that game. Currently, my team is a lot smaller than Murphins, which means to avoid being outnumbered, I needed to recruit a lot more players. So me and my only trusted friends in this chaotic world, Spay and Mindless, met back at our doomsday bunker to talk business. And after the most intense 15 minute scheme session ever, we created this. The Grinders, join us for a better tomorrow, Elon Musk approved. And after traveling to post them up, across what was left of the world after a super volcano erupted a few days ago, it worked perfectly. Dozens of new recruits joined, knowing that together with us, we could survive the asteroid and take down the Legion. The only people who didn't join were either with Murphin already, or were in the Gus civilization, which is a growing cult living in the UK, whose leader Pixel Plus preaches some chicken named Gus can save them from the asteroid. Plus, I don't know, I don't believe it, personally. With our steadily increasing member counts now stationed strategically below the Legion's base, the next objectives to win this war were simple. Build an advanced military compound consisted of the deadliest TNT bomber planes, several warships with cannons on them, a battleship, farms, and the most complex Minecraft railgun to ever exist, all of which will need these materials that we do not have. The team and I started off small by building rafts to carry some basic farms that could come in handy later on, like this automatic honey and cactus farm. There was also Fast Jazz who is hustling literally hundreds of foxes into holding swords and fighting for him during battle. Now with a beginner base formed, it was time for the good stuff, starting with the battleship. So basically, we need a lot of sign concrete and stone. Might as well get to it. Yeet! Ah! It's like 8 a.m. right now, boys, and I'm collecting flowers in Minecraft. We're on that grind. You know how it is. We are looking good, boys. Let's go, space here. Let's start I building though. And by let's, I mean mostly space. It's hard to believe I'm not really the best builder. No, wait, what are you doing? What? He goes back in. Bro. Luckily, Spay clutched up her freaking usual and finished off the build, which would lead our fleet. Spay then got started on the other battleships, which would hold our artillery cannons. And while he did that, I went to scout out what Murphin was up to now. Bro, I hate doing this. I don't know why I keep putting my life on the line like this. We gotta get up to our tree. <laughs> Make it this time. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I analyzed the area and deduced that Murphy's army had been growing, building houses, defense towers, and even obsidian prisons as if he was planning something. Uh, I, I think I've seen enough around here. We've got our intel. But this time, while trying to get back to the base, one of Murphy's men had found me sneaking around. Hey, yo. Is that you, Grox? Nah, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm just taking a stroll out here. The weather's nice, isn't it? Yeah, Uh, I, I think I need to tell Murphy, bro. I I'll be right back. No, no, no. Hey, Grogs, Grogs, Grogs. Come here, come here. I have a deal for you. I have a deal for you. <laughs> I bet. I knew I could not leave an enemy witness or else the Legion would figure out all of our war plans. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grogs. Nah, nah. Grogs, hey, I'm chill, sorry. Chill. <laughs> You're not telling nobody chill. about this, Grogs. As I cautiously returned to base, I saw Spay's beautiful fleet being complete, meaning it was now time to construct the big guns that give us the best chance of winning this war. Member Activation and I were currently in the process process of building the deadliest cannon Minecraft has ever seen. By using complex mechanisms to dupe hundreds of TNT and launching those with hundreds more, we'd be able to bombard the coastline to kill anyone on it and also prevent hostiles from approaching us at that angle. While this did act as a great defense mechanism, we needed something to go even further and completely clobber their base. So once again, using all of the riches we've grinded for for the past two weeks, Pingu and I went ahead and built one of the craziest flying machines ever. Similar to the spread cannon, this bomber plane 
Wayne uses TNT duping methods to rain down mass amounts of explosives in an extremely short amount of time. But the best part about it is that it uses slimestone pistons to literally fly and will only start bombarding once activated above their base. With the compound, plane, and cannons, our military is looking quite powerful, but there's currently a major problem. This whole exposed civilization we're targeting is the Legion's base, but Murphy's loot and hideout is actually under the secret bunker entrance. Unfortunately, this bunker is underwater, meaning any way to safely destroy it to foil their escape plans was almost impossible. So me and the grinders got to scheming. Mindless, what's your ideas? We can just like rush them, can't we? I say we build more ships. Oh, hell no. No, guys, I, I got the idea. We're gonna build a TNT sniper using Desmos. One of our smartest members, Cades, had thought of a crazy plan, but I knew if you wanted to win in life, you had to take risks. First, we would start off by building an arsenal of flying machines at Sky Limit, which when activated, would run on a clock that would stop directly over Murphy's bunker. Here, it would drop over a hundred TNT minecarts on top of water to prevent them from exploding, where they'd float down perfectly into their bunker entrance. Thing is though, we won't be able to detonate them and anyone inside can just remove the minecarts with enough time, but giving up there is what a quitter would do. Instead, we built possibly the most advanced Minecraft weapon that's ever been created, a multi-directional railgun. Built up of several intricate parts, this machine uses just the right amount of dupe TNT and explodes at just the right time to launch two sets of explosives. One being slightly above the other, which will detonate at the perfect time above Murphin's bunker, which will shoot the bottom set straight down at a 90 degree angle. This will cause the minecart nuke to go off, killing anyone inside before they even knew a hit them. Now with a fleet of ships, defensive and offensive cannons, aerial supports, and dozens of troops who are willing to die by each other's side to win, all that was left to do was make one more recon mission to get a final observation of our enemy. Bruh, they built a giant wall. I mean, it's kind of good for me because I can just sneak past and they can't see me anymore. Perfect. Okay, that was a lot cleaner than the last time. All right, now what do we got today? As I looked around, I saw countless new enemies and even what seemed to be prisoners they were forcing to work for them. I can hear them. Let's go to Gus. Come on, let's go, bro. Hey, wait, they're going to the Gus group? No way. During this entire war, Pixel Plus and his Gus cult have just been chilling, worshiping Gus the chicken in hopes of salvation. And now, Murphin was on his way to do something barbaric. Look at their group. Bruh. As I snuck into a nearby castle, I saw the Legion threatening to blow up the Gus Colt sacred statue, and judging from the loot difference, this didn't look too good. So, this is your last Someone's chance escaping. to join the Legion. Bro, shut up! Sorry. Alright, this is your last chance to join the Legion. No, we're not gonna join you. We believe in Gus. Y'all believe that we're just gonna end, and we don't believe that. We can stop this meteor if we just, like, put an end to our differences. Just stop. Uh-huh. Alright, you. Come on, go, go up in the gust section. Help, I'm being held hostage. Yeah, I might want to stand back, you know? No, <laughs> wait. Wait, Pixel, Pixel. With the destruction of their statue and death of Pixel's most trusted follower, they surrendered and were forced back as prisoners to the Legion's base. While this was all kind of funny to me at the time, I soon realized Murphy could force all of these Gus prisoners into battle without caring if they died. We needed to make our move now, before the Legion got even more powerful or discovered our plans. The next day, I gathered Mindless, Spay, and the rest of the grinders one last time before battle. Alright, y'all, we're about to fight the biggest fight of our life right now! We want That's in like and out. Fight. Let's go. No deaths, no deaths. Stay focused, stay hard, and stay frosty. Once again, first step of the plan was to launch the TNT fly machines to take out their bunker. Good luck, Seth. I'm making sure they get in there. Luck, my boy. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Stay hard. Stay hard. Should be happening. Oh, I fell. Wait, is it going? I think it is. Oh. Oh my god, they're there. Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> Who is that? They don't even need, they don't even see it. Oh, it's in. Oh, it's in, it's in, it's in. Okay, I gotta get back to the cannon. I gotta get back to the cannon quick. With the nukes falling into position, the only thing left to do to start the war was to launch the precision cannon. Whoa, cookie, cookie, cookie. What, what is, is that? Yo, what is that? Wait, hang on. How are we gonna get this out of the base? Yeah, I don't know. I don't... With their hideout and bunker destroyed, it was now time to activate the bomber plane. All right, oh, there it goes. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta get ready to start the cannon. Once the bomber plane was activated and in range, it started the TNT dupers, which meant there was no backing out now. They knew we were coming. All right, starting cannon. There we go. All right. Oh, 
Oh, oh my god! Oh, that's so cool. Yo! With the bomber plane and spread cannon running, their base in the terrain around it was being decimated, which left us to continue the war with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Alright, let's go, baby! Let's rough them up! I don't know who this guy is up here, but they're getting it. Come here, boy! Get out of here! Oh. Stop breathing in your mic! It's not gonna save you! <laughs> Come here! Oh! <laughs> Oh, it's no. Murphin! It's Murphin! Yeah. Murphin, what happened to your what happened to your compound? You blew up the Legion that took forever to build! Murphin and the Legion were putting up a good fight, yet us, the grinders, were destroying them. But while focusing on fighting some of Murphin's goons with Mindless, I had completely lost sight of Spay. Alright, where's Spay though? I haven't seen him in like five minutes. I'm, I'm in the water, I'm in the water. Get over here, yeah, Mindless. We need to find Spay. Considering Spay is a builder and horrible at PvPing, Mindless and I needed to find him now before someone else did. Bro, we shouldn't have let him fight. Oh, wait, I see him. I see someone. Where, 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 where? Over there, over there. Down there. Bruh, <laughs> he got him in a cage. Murfin had trapped Spay, showing Mindless and I he could kill him at any moment. Listen, bro. If you get any closer, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to literally kill him. What do you want? What do you want? I don't know, man. I mean, really, I kind of just want you all to die. But like, you guys are actually a pain in my butt. I swear to God. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah, in your butt? Yeah, in in my butt, yeah. Weirdo. This guy's so weird. Not gonna lie, I didn't know how to handle a hostage situation, especially when it's someone you consider family. And if the odds weren't against us already, they certainly were about to be. Oh my god. Uh, uh, oh, you see- Oh no. my god, do you see that? <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh, we're all about to die. Get him. Say, go, 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 go. We gotta get him out of here. A huge fragment of the incoming asteroid had crashed into the ocean, creating a massive tsunami that was coming right for us. Amazing. Come on. Oh my god, it's getting closer. Guys, oh save god. me, please. Spay, I'm, we're trying. Every time I tried to get close enough to break Spay out of the obsidian, I was hit away, and time was really running out. Come on. Come on, Spay. No! Oh my god. My water. I'm out of water. I'm out of water. Oh god. No, 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 no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Now submerged, taking damage extremely quickly to the tsunami, I tried pushing one last time to save Spay. No! Spay! You have to leave me. You have to leave me. First McYum and now Spay, he didn't deserve it. He was so innocent and just wanted to show the world the beauty of his build. It was now clear to me there's never truly a winner in war, but there was no time to be sad. Mindless and I had to escape Murfin and his remaining members before we also got killed. Oh my gosh. Mindless, come on, so. mindless, mindless, we gotta go. I don't have a freaking bucket. Don't let them escape, kill them. We were out of the tsunami for now, but others across the world couldn't say the same. Anyone's base who survived the volcano was now completely submerged in water. Even our main bunker base and all of space once flourishing builds in Russia had gone flooded as well, leaving Mindless and I with nowhere to go. Mindless! Zip. All right, hide, 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 hide. They're all the way back there. All right, we lost them. All right, we may have lost Murfin for now, but the tsunami was still in full force. Wait, 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 wait. There's someone there. Someone there. Do you realize there's a tsunami, like, right there? <laughs> wait, really? Oh, by the way, this is my house. This is where I live. Mindless, we gotta go. Oh, shit. Mindless, we gotta go, dude. I don't have food. And just as it seemed, the last survival place on earth was about to be wiped out the tsunami came to a halt at the british borders weirdly stopping right before submerging the gust cold civilization with almost every base across the world destroyed players dead and spay being gone along with the rest of his build it left mindless and i with nothing left being hunted down in this small area until we eventually see if it's possible to survive the asteroid impact that was episode two out of three and the final episode comes out at exactly 5 p.m est on december 13th so subscribe so you don't miss it and also follow my Twitter and Instagram for more updates.